can the Eucharist be um, a source for your life? Of course it can. Um, when you get tired, uh, God is asking you to come and build your strength again. You can only do that um, if you cultivate a deep belief in his abiding presence in the Eucharist. Uh, one of the things that's happened um, over the last 20 years, maybe a little more, is that people um, in a very technical world, in a very thing-oriented, concrete-oriented world, have lost a sense of the symbolic and how it works, and that the fact that the symbolic in our understanding of the Eucharist is deeper than what we think about the symbolic in the everyday. It's not just a sign that points us to something else. It is the real that approaches us in the sign, the real that comes to us in the sign, the real that is present in the sign, in the things that we encounter in the bread and wine is the real presence of Christ, Jesus risen. Um, we use the term sacramental presence. We use the word real presence. Um, that's to tell us that Jesus, as he is now, is available to us, is present to us, makes contact with us and is the strength that we need. I am the bread that comes down from heaven. We could say in, in our language right now, I am the bread that is placed in your hands or on your tongue. I am this, not I am known through this, not I am suggested by this, I am this. Why? Uh, do we control that? No. Uh, he told us if we invited it, he would take the initiative. And so every time we take the bread and bless, take the cup and bless, he takes that as an invitation to be present to us. Doesn't matter if we're holy when it happens, it's still available for us. Whether it feeds us, really feeds us, has to do um, with how we accept the gift that's being given. And so people say, well, you know, uh, how, how does confession work with this? Um, it prepares us to more fully accept what's there. Um, the, the brilliance of Jesus present in the Eucharist is we we'll always get a little something. <laughs> To the extent that we're well prepared, uh, that our hearts are as clean as they can be, that we've paid attention to his presence elsewhere, outside the Eucharist and in the Eucharist as it's progressed. As we deepen our presence, we are more ready to encounter his presence. But he's always there, uh, just a, a moment away. And the presence never goes away. Uh, don't forget to make things like visits. Um, if you're my father's age, you would remember tipping your hat as you went past the church. Uh, that was a way of acknowledging the presence, genuflections or bows if you can't kneel. Uh, all of those things saying, I believe that he's there. Um, I'm trying to stay deeply connected to him. Why? because I need the living bread for strength. Don't we all, don't we all? I hope this Sunday has been an encounter with the real presence of Christ, the living bread that's come down from heaven for you and for me. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.